Hello everyone. Welcome to BISPtrainings.com. My name is Sumit and today I'm going to demonstrate you how to build dendrogram chart in R programming. So basically dendrogram chart will be built on clustered data. So as you can see here, I have placed my data by using a dendrogram chart after proper cluster clustering. So cluster is a group of object that belongs to the same class. In other words, similar objects are grouped into one cluster and these similar objects are grouped into another cluster. So from here you can see uh, the Fiat X19 and Fiat 128, they belong to the same group. And the MERS 280C and uh, Ford Pantra L, they belong to different group. So what we do is, so first of all, we first partition the set of data into groups based on the data similarity and then assign the labels to the groups. The main advantage of clustering over classification is that it is adaptable to changes and helps single out useful features that distinguish different groups. Clustering analysis is broadly used in many of the applications or real life real time applications such as market research, pattern recognition, data analysis, image processing, it can be also used to categorize the customer groups based on their purchasing patterns. Clustering also helps in identification of areas of similar land used in earth observation databases. So in this example, I will be going to use the hierarchical model for clustering in R for preparing dendrogram. Uh, so in hierarchical model, we start with each object forming a separate group and then we placed it on the chart, placed it on a dendrogram chart by using clustering. So first of all, let's look, have a, have a look at the data set. So that's the data set which I have prepared. Here we have few columns, few fields, location, fixed charges, ROR, cost, load, demand, sales, sales fuel cost and nuclear. So that's a data set. So by using the clustering data set here, by using this dendrogram, I'm just going to define the cluster distance between two clusters or two different groups. So the we'll start with the common sets, common groups. We create two different groups and the common groups will be placed together and like it goes up and to the nearest cluster they merge into a new cluster and this process is repeated until the whole data set is associated into one single cluster. It forms a single cluster. So let's start preparing a dendrogram by using the data set, the sample data set which I have prepared here. So first of all, I'm going to read a library. I'm going to write add a library xlsx because that's a csv formatted file and i just wanted to read that file so library xlsx then i write a command data1 read dot csv and the data file is stored in my d drive should be double quote so d drive and sample data dot csv and run it. So you can see there are 12 observation with nine variables and if I expand it we have the complete data set here with 12 observation 12 values and nine variables. If I want to view data I can pass a command from here as well view data one view is should be capital view data one and when I run it it will open in the in the tabular format. If I simple plot this data on by using a plot, 
So I simple write here plot and I would like to present I would like to uh, plot fuel cost versus sales. So I specify here fuel cost the data set we have fuel underscore cost and sales. So I specify here fuel fuel underscore cost versus sales from data one and when I run it, it the plot will simple format and you can see the plot has been formed but there are no labels so it's difficult to identify that this specific plots or these points are for which locations because here we have location as well to so to add the locations into it I just add a label to the data points with data one comma text fuel underscore cost versus sales comma labels equal to locations so let's run it and uh, one two brackets so this will go with two brackets so you can see here this will go together so the data has been plot along with the labels if I zoom it you can see the values and the data points and the text they are overlapping so we can change their locations as well so I'll specify here location position is equal to one position is equal to one it means the position will be one means ne uh, below the data point and two means next to the data point or left to the data points and also uh, we can change the sensex is equal to 0 0.8 sensex 0 0.8 means it will present the labels in smaller format so you can see here the data has been placed successfully or the plot has been created But my requirement is to create groups for the similar data, similar value. So for this, first of all, I store the data set into a new data set without the first column. For normalization, because we are going to normalize the data. So for normalization of data or for performing the clustering on the data set, remember that for clustering, we need to have the quantitative data. We, we have all the quantitative data whereas in this data we have the uh, character data as well uh, we want a quantitative data we don't want this first column we need to eliminate this column the first column so to eliminate this first column I'll store the data set uh, without the first column in a new data set so I create a new data set data 2 and I write data 1 and I don't want first column and it should be eliminate the first column so 1 comma and we have got a second data set and we write here view data 2 and if I execute it if I run it you can see we have got all the quantitative data there is there are no labels there are no uh, the first column there is no first column along with the labels which represents the locations So the first thing we are going to do is we will be going to calculate the means for the all variables. Why do we need to calculate the means of the all variables? Because if you can have a look here, we have got the fixed charges in decimal values, cost in uh, whole numbers and sales we have got in huge number. So it might possible but that when we placed on them on the charts, so uh, they will not the data, uh, the data will not appear in the as required or it will overcome the show so just to overcome the, overcome to that just to avoid those problems we just calculate the mean and the standard deviation for all variables so to calculate the means I use here uh, mean underscore data and to calculate the mean underscore mean uh, means from a data set so I write apply and the mean from data to to st sorry it should be mean M E A N. This is to calculate the mean, and just execute it, and we have got mean data. If I write mean underscore data and run it, we have got the mean data. In similar way, I just wanted to calculate the standard deviation. So, to calculate standard deviation, I write STD and apply 
standard deviation for apply data to comma two comma s d for standard deviation s d stands for standard deviation and when i run s d d you can see we have got the data set now finally uh, calculate normalized data set and store them into the same data set so in order to do that i just write here data to data to scale i set the scale as well data to comma mean underscore data comma standard deviation and now when i execute and when i run data to when i view data to you can see we have got a proper data set or if we look the data to here we can have all in a proper standard deviation and proper mean format so we have got a, a normalized data now we will be going to calculate the Euclidean distance so we have to calculate the Euclidean distance Euclidean distance is the distance between two points in Euclidean steps space so we need to calculate the distance between the two points for example if we look at the data set so I just wanted to know that what's the difference between these two data points like number one and number two what's the difference between them so this can be done by using the Euclidean distance this uh, so to so the formula to calculate the Euclidean distances I just uh, I just calculated and stored in a new uh, variable I pass here distance and in distance the formula will be dist and data two and when we execute it so the Euclidean distance has been calculated and if I just print the data if I just wanted to show it I just write here distance and run it you can see the distance has been it appears like this but if the figures are too big so I just uh, cut short the figure so I write print distance comma digits is equal to three and now when I execute it we'll get a proper distance proper information about the distance between two values or two points so you can see that distance between the first point and second point is 3.53 distance between second point and second point there is no distance it's blank because it's the self it's the same uh, distance between the third and the second point is 3.04 in similar way we have we have got the distances between the various uh, on, with, between the all the data points so once we have got the data once we have calculated the Euclidean distance between the two points now we can make the cluster dendrogram so to create a cluster dendrogram or to plot a cluster dendrogram we need to pass a command and the command is I have stored it in a new variable on a new object that is HC and the formula the command will be H plus H will be the horizontal cluster and I write here H cluster distance and if I run it if I execute it you see nothing happens here because we need to simple write here plot HC so right here plot HC as well and you can see it has been plotted successfully if we do not pass any parameter while creating the cluster in that case uh, it will create a complete cluster it will create a whole cluster the full cluster but if you want to calculate the average cluster so to calculate average cluster formula will be in this that in, in that case the formula will be EVE this will calculate the average cluster and it should be comma comma EVE sorry it should be AVE average should be AVE and now if I plot HC you can see the values has been changed because it has calculated this is the calculate this is the cluster which is representing the cal uh, average data set. so if you'll go with the complete cluster the whole set of cluster and plot it so we are getting the values here now to label them we can simply use here plot labels is equal to labels is equal to data one dollar data one dollar locations locations run it 
and you can see the values on the data points has been placed successfully if we want to create a colorful cluster so for that we need to install a package and the package name is Drendro extras so I'll just add because I have already installed that package so I just add a library library and the package name is Dendro extras so I'll just add the library and then I create a new cluster for the same plus to one plus to one and colors color underscore clusters H cluster distance and run it and comma five so and now if I simple plot it plot plus one plus one and run it. you can see we have got the colorful cluster but again they are without labels so to add the labels we can copy paste the same and add the labels into Yeah, so that's how we can add the colored cluster and uh, if we go with the existing one or old one so we have got the labeled cluster so that's how you can see the cluster has been the cluster dendrogram has been created and from here it's easy for us to identify that the Pune and Boston they share the same group Mumbai and Noida they share the same group and New Delhi and Noida they are not sharing the same group they are from different group but the New Delhi and Gurugao they are from the same group in similar way this this group this group they forms one big cluster this this will form a big cluster and at the end finally all the locations has been added in a big cluster whose height is around six or uh, between six and seven so that's how we can create a cluster dendrogram in our program that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel for more videos on python keep watching have a nice day goodbye